That was Stan in the background chiming in. Welcome to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Stan's my rooster for those that don't know, and you caught the second half of his crow. He can be a little cocky, just saying. All right, so here we are. Uh, I'm going through headlines, and I this popped up probably three or four times for me. And Stan's excited about it. So here we are. I am really interested in what this has to say. I did not uh, read through it other than just the headline and um, different versions of the headline over the course of the last couple days. And uh, here it is. The headline, Government Demands Veteran Return $30,000 He Was Paid Decades Ago. If it happens to one, it can happen to all. I'm just saying. So with that, let's jump into it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, everybody who subscribed, everybody who watches, everybody who thumbs up, everybody who comments, all of that. Everything is welcome. Good comments, bad comments, whatever. I am here for the greater good of veterans and the veteran sphere is what I call it, which is everybody, right? It's the veterans, the spouses, the surviving spouses, the dependents, everybody who's affected by us as veterans and our military service and can potentially receive benefits. If you want to support the channel in other ways, please do so by becoming a member. You can do that by going to the homepage and you will see the highlighted members there in a join button. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. All right. So $30,000 is not a small amount of money. I don't care um, if it was decades ago or today, right? It's worth less today than it was then. But you know, it's to fork out 30 grand would not be fun. And we all know how the VA will take it back. If you're receiving VA disability compensation, they might just take it from that. Um, but let's find out what this one's about. For this specific article, I think if I remember the different headlines that I saw, uh, this is regarding uh, somebody who took uh, basically an early out and was paid a uh, amount to basically get out. Uh, so it would be on the DOD side uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at here, I'm thinking. So let's jump into it and we'll just read through it. The Department of Veterans Affairs, ah, I guess it's a uh, return decades ago, leave the Army. Wow, interesting. So, all right, the Department of Veterans Affairs has recently demanded that a veteran, Vernon Riff, fit. I don't know, R-E-F-F-I-T-T, -T, returned the $30,000 that he was paid decades ago to leave the army. So, um, call me crazy, I don't know. If he got paid to leave the army, you would think that would come from DOD side of the house, not the VA. I don't know. I'd love to see your comments on that um, and see where the VA fits into this to say that uh, he has to return that $30,000. Uh, let's read further, maybe we'll find out. Maybe there's some sort of uh, double dipping thing that happened, I don't know. So Riffit, uh, is what I'm gonna call him, uh, got an offer in 1992 to leave the army for a lump sum special separation benefit of $30,000, which came as the federal government was acting to cut down on the active duty force. Last May, the VA started to withhold Refit's monthly disability compensation payments, ah. which he has been receiving for 30 years until he repays his special separation benefit as required by federal law. I think, look, even if it is the law, 30 years come on there has to be some sort of a like a line hey look va if you don't figure it out by here you're just kind of you're out i'm sorry um 30 years is a bit too long even in the disability compensation world if the va erroneously awards you right on their fault right you did not commit fraud they screwed up example uh, you went in for your right knee, your right knee was jacked up, and they rated you for your left knee for some reason. Somebody put left, and now you have that rating. You never looked again, and you moved on. After 20 years, the VA cannot sever that um, that uh, disability rating uh, or any payments on it. That's just, well, our bad. You get to keep that forever. Why? Because you've gotten used to it, and it's unfair now to rip it away from you. 
I think the same needs to be said for this, and I think that this guy needs to uh, hopefully get the word out. Thirty thousand dollars, really, uh, for the VA. It's nothing for the one individual. It could throw him into the streets. Imagine for one moment uh, if your disability uh, compensation disappeared for months, right? How are you going to survive? Six months, let's just say. Eight months. Eight months starting now. No VA disability compensation. Uh, how does your life change, right? For some of us, not much, right? You know, got to tighten the belt, right? Uh, make it through. Got a little something in the savings or whatever it is. But for others, it's, well, now we can't pay the car or the house or the electricity. Pick which one we're not paying, right? So anyway... Let's go on with this. He has been receiving for 30 years until he repays his special separation benefit as required by federal law that prohibits veterans from receiving both disability and special separations benefits. This means veterans have to pay off their special separation benefit before they can receive the disability benefit. That's wrong, Refit, a 62-year-old living in Twin City, Georgia, told NBC News on Thursday. You can't just up and take it back. Okay, well, they are, and that sucks, right? So, again, I think there needs to be some sort of a, if you don't figure it out within the first X number of years, that's your bad. Uh, the VA told Newsweek on Friday, while VA is legally required to recoup separation pay from veterans in cases like this, we recognize that this is a difficult situation for veterans, and we seek to work with them every step of the way to minimize the impact on their lives. We always seek to identify the need for recoupment as early as possible, 30 years, just saying, and we will work directly with veterans to support them through this process. The department continued, we at the VA have a team of debt management staff, I bet you do, who work directly with veterans in situations like this and who can support veterans who wish to pursue relief of any type. We encourage veterans to learn more about this process anytime at va.gov forward slash manage hyphen va hyphen debt forward slash or contact uh, or connect with a counselor by calling 800-827-0648. The VA can't, cannot waive recoupment of special uh, separation benefits. However, it said that a secretary, uh, the secretary of the applicable branch of service Okay, so in this case, Army, the secretary of the applicable branch of service may waive recoupment, or recoupment of voluntary separations pay, which is another type of separations pay. That is, uh, if uh, the secretary determines that recovery would be against uh, equity and good conscience, uh, or would be contrary to the best interests of the United States, accordingly, the VA does not recoup voluntary separation pay from the compensation of a veteran who has received such a waiver. All right, so these ones are different, voluntary versus special. So they just wanted to give a distinction that there's also voluntary separations pay uh, and that nobody really, you know, the VA doesn't try to recoup that. And uh, if the um, secretary of the branch uh, wants to waive uh, any recoupment of that, they can. All right, moving on. A 2022 report by the Rand Corporation, a global uh, policy think tank, found that 2,651 veterans had their special separations benefits recouped by the VA between 2013 and 2020 because they received other VA benefits. On average, each veteran had $25,700 recouped. Meanwhile, 72,206 veterans had their voluntary or involuntary separation pay, uh, which are different types of separations pay, uh, separations benefits recouped in the same time frame of this group of veterans. On average, $19,700 was recouped per person. That's interesting because it said, it said up there, 
Accordingly, VA does not recoup voluntary separations pay from the compensation of a veteran who has received such a waiver. Okay, so you have to get the waiver from the secretary of that branch of service and then the VA will not uh, recoup it. Okay, so of those 72,000, my question is, okay, great. And again, this is now after the fact and hindsight's 2020, but for those coming in the future, Right, seventy-two thousand uh, of those seventy-two thousand two hundred and six veterans. How many of them asked for a waiver? I'm pretty sure there had to have been a few in there that uh, had some sort of hardship, and they were asking for uh, a waiver. And hopefully, the VA turned them to uh, the secretary of the branch, and then hopefully that happened. The VA recoup separations pay from 9,298 veterans in the 2023 fiscal year, according to the department. Veterans are notified of the uh, recoupment when they fill out a form known as the Veterans Application for Compensation and or Pension during the application's process for VA disability compensation. What they're talking about there is the small print. So the small print that nobody reads, just saying, um, says in there that, hey, look, if you received any sort of um, um, whatever it's called now, now I can't even remember. If you received any sort of uh, uh, voluntary or, or involuntary separations pay um, or special um, separations pay, that guess what? We're going to recoup it out of uh, any sort of award that you may receive. So, so again, small print good times. Uh, moving on, the there is language contained within the form stating that separations pay may be recouped from VA benefits. In addition, this form includes a block that is to be completed to report receipt of separations pay, the VA told Newsweek. Further, when VA awards compensation to a veteran, the notification letter includes a paragraph explaining that separation pay must be recouped from VA compensation when applicable. Again, all small print. The only thing that's not really small print is the blocks in there that say, have you ever received any sort of uh, separations pay? If so, how much and when and all that good stuff. And you don't really know why. You're just assuming that they just they're looking to see how you exited the military and what that looked like. So you don't really realize uh, that they're going to rip it back from you. Unless you worked with an accredited rep uh, uh, who saw that you wrote that in there and they said, hey, just so you know, the VA, if they award you X, they're going to not pay you until they pay back that amount. All right. Again, another reason to work with an accredited rep. In May of 2023, Representative Gallego, uh, an Arizona uh, congressional member, introduced a bill to uh, restore Veterans Compensation Act to deal with the issue. The bill would eliminate the recoupment of separations pay, special separations benefits, and voluntary separations incentives payments from armed forces members who receive disability pay. The act would also limit the authority of the Secretary of Defense to recoup these types of separation benefits from veterans who later receive retirement benefits or retire, uh, retirement pay. Uh, moving on, uh, Newsweek uh, reached out to Gallego's office by phone for comment. The bill has not uh, made much progress in the House. It was last referred to the Subcommittee on Disability Assistance and Memorial Affairs in June of 2023. And uh, that's it. So, um, when did he, in May, uh, introduced. So, in May of 2023, so, I mean, that's over a year ago. But, you know, it's, uh, I think that there needs to be maybe... I, it's hard to say, you know, in the big scheme of things, sure, it sounds great. But I think that the more important thing is timeline. You can't, 30 years is too long, right? You need to figure it out up front. You, VA, had the form that was submitted and it took you 30 years. So, you know, I don't know uh, if he put in all the information required. Uh, you know, did he write that stuff in there? I don't know. But 
30 years is too long. I think there needs to be some sort of a timeline on that um, if the veteran provided you the information for sure. So with that, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.